Hello savages, in this episode we'll be waterproofing a tarp that we made in the last episode, so stay tuned. I'm Jonathan Shaver, and this is Bushcraft Savage. If you want to become a better bushcrafter, hit that subscribe button, be sure to ring the bell so you get notifications, and let's get to work. In this episode, I'm going to teach you a way to waterproof a canvas tarp using silicone and mineral spirits. There are a few ways to do this, one of which is to use fixing wax, but that would take a bunch of beeswax. The other way is linseed oil and mineral spirits, but that would make the tarp really flammable and we don't want to be near a fire when that thing goes up. Then there's the spray on stuff. It don't last long. Okay, so to do this, you're going to need a few tubes of 100% silicone, a few cans of mineral spirits, a paintbrush or a roller, a container to mix the ingredients, and your tarp. Now to the waterproofing. Okay, we need to mix up our mineral spirits and silicone. There are two different types of tubes of silicone. There's one where you, like this, that you need a caulk gun for. Then there's just the regular tube that you can roll up like toothpaste. But either one you get, as long as it's 100% silicone, it's fine. You just cut the ends, if you get this kind, you can just cut the ends off of it. Now, when you're mixing this up, you're looking for a kind of runny syrup look. Not like maple syrup, but a little bit runnier than that. Also, there's a seal down in here. Be sure to run, stick a stick down in there and poke it. But then we just start pumping some out. And we're gonna stop right there for a minute and mix up some mineral spirits into it. Now we're just gonna shake the devil out of it. The pine straw. Big gob right there in the sun. If you hang your tarp up like this, be sure to take or the yeah, be sure to stake it at the corners to hold it good and tight, tight like a tiger. And then just work it in there, work it, work it, yep, just work it. Take your time, get it covered really good.
I am a majestic unicorn riding through the forest into a field of purple poppies and daisies. Hey Savages, I want y'all to know that I celebrate every view, every subscriber, and I really appreciate what y'all are doing. Y'all make me feel so much better about myself and what I'm doing here, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now for some thoughts about this project. When researching waterproofing recipes, this one was a common one that comes up. I found out by doing this, Sometimes those recipes aren't exactly, well, exact when it comes to the amount they'll cover and the amount of ingredients you need. Like for this tarp, I used two cans of, well, actually a gallon and a half of mineral spirits and four tubes of silicone just to be able to get the silicone on there well enough that it would waterproof it. Uh, if you're using a bigger tarp that might have more cotton in it, you might have to use more of the ingredients. If you're using something that has, say, nylon mixed into it or polyester mixed into the fabric or into the into the blend, sorry about that. You probably you might not have to use as much of the silicone or the mineral spirits because it's not going to absorb up as much of it when you're applying it. So take that in mind when you're trying to do this on your own. So if you can do a test on your fabric, you might want to do that first because it might help make the application a little bit easier. In my opinion, and it's just my opinion, this actually really works really well for what I'm going to use this tarp for and that's as a shelter to keep rain off of me and off of my gear. So. Would I do it again this way? No, because I think I would try mixing the silicone inside of a blender with the mineral spirits and make a big vat and then submerge the tarp into it that way. But that's a, a, that would be a, uh, what's that word? Experiment for later. So savages, I hope this helps. If you learned anything, hit that like button. If you wanna keep learning stuff like this, Subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.